Hello friends, welcome back to a came from a vlog. I'm Kate and today we are doing a Target Halloween haul. Well, obviously we need to start with this guy here, my new pumpkin Halloween friend, this giant jack-o'-lantern that we're gonna put right outside of our door. He's so cute, classic, perfect little pumpkin face. He takes three AA batteries. He has a timer so you don't have to go out there and turn him on every night. And I just can't wait to see him in action. Moving on. <laughs> Next up is this really cute doormat. It's orange, it's classic, it's not too spooky, but not too kitty. What else can you say about a doormat? I like it. Halloween is coming and you know I'm obsessed with doing fun stuff with the kids, so I got a bunch of stuff to throw a little Halloween themed party. I could not deny these adorable little props to take pictures with. The designs for this hide and eek line from Target, I'm just, I love it. I love it. It's so colorful and playful and it really is eye-catching with the popping colors. Anyway, love that. The other thing that I got was this inflatable spider ring toss game. I thought this is really cute. You just blow it up and you throw the rings on. And we're gonna do a whole spider themed spooky walkway on the side of our house going into our backyard for the trick-or-treaters. So I figured once they walk through the spooky spider webs, they can play this little ring toss game and get their candy and be on their merry little way. We have been decorating the living room for Halloween and we always like to add some height, uh, do, you know, different heights to just really make the things on the shelves look nice. So this velvet textured spooky tree with glittery base was just a good thing to put in the background on a shelf and it was in the dollar spot five dollars i mean i feel like it should have been three but i ain't mad at it all right now we have this easy to wash and wipe tablecloth i had already bought a tablecloth from home goods earlier this month but it is a pain to throw in the wash. This will be much easier and I have the perfect job for the other tablecloth I bought so it will not go to waste. Isn't she lovely? Last year we got one of those amazing hide and eek um, biting flower arrangement things. I'm obsessed with it. It is my favorite Halloween decoration that we have and when I saw this in the store it matches perfectly. I love the little details. It's just whimsical. It's not too much like too over the top too busy. They just know how to do it right at Target. Target I love you. Sponsor me forever. Thanks! <laughs> This was one of Sergio's picks. He just thought this thing looked amazing. It's a nice big platter. I'm sure it will come in handy. I personally wish it was plastic so I wouldn't have to stress about the kids breaking it, but we'll just have to keep it up on a high place to keep it nice and safe so we can use it for many years to come. In my real life, I am very, very, very allergic to cats unfortunately, even though I think they are amazing looking creatures and I love all the lore and the symbolism of them, but I cannot go near them. Otherwise, I will have a serious allergic reaction and be six for weeks. So there's that. But this pillow is the next best thing, right? I don't know. Maybe not. But it's super cute. It's a little cat throw pillow. And since we're switching up the theme in our living room from Disney to Halloween, we needed to replace some of those throw pillows so that the whole theme comes together. So there she is. Now, I've already told you we're going to do a big spider web themed haunted walkthrough area for the kids this year. So when I saw this giant spider web, we just thought this would be a great addition to add in. It's actually kind of a fuzzy, sparkly material, but I'm excited to see this thing in action. The more spider webs and the more spiders, the better. How neat is this doorbell? Sergio fell in love with this thing, so it will be his job to hang this one up outside. I grabbed some cheap Halloween napkins. I think they'll look nice on the table, so there's those. The Target Dollar Spot also had some really cute, affordable um, Halloween signs. They're just simple little Halloween signs. There's a picture of them all hung up. There's three of them in this set, and it was only $3, so a dollar for a little sign. I think that's a great deal. I'm sure we'll find a place to put these guys. And then we got this Dead and Breakfast Inn vacancy. This is a nice hardwood one with a, a little thing to hang it, three bucks. 
great, love them. Always good to fill in all the little spaces. I also had to grab some face paint because I'm going to be the bride and Sergio is going to be Frankenstein. His costume actually came with some paint, but I needed some, so there they are. They were very cheap at Target, which is always great. This cute little pumpkin is foam inside. It was in the dollar spot. It was three bucks. I love a good polka dot and I love the black and white combo. So it came home with me. Here's another cat that will not make me sneeze. I love the look of this one. I think it goes really well with some of the other Halloween decorations we have. It kind of gives me a Tim Burton-esque feeling. Uh, let me show you what she does. Her eyes glow, her head turns. She makes some noises. Tell them, girl. Tell them. Anyway, love the style on this one. I feel like it'll make a very good decoration for indoor or outdoor. Maybe on our porch, maybe right when you come inside. But either way, I love pets that I don't have to feed and actually take care of. I have one more bag of miscellaneous little things, including all these great hand towels that they had in the dollar spots. How much was this? $5.00 bewitching in the kitchen it's really cute actually some of these were given to me as a gift by my aunties which is so sweet these are really sweet i don't think this one was from the dollar spot they got this one it has mr bones on it and it says eek and then a skull one in the back there this one is probably good for like our downstairs bathroom we could put it in there because they're a little bit thicker and have a better texture then this little kitchen bar towels five dollars as well Bon Appetit and a little skull and crossbones pattern. We have some window decals. The kids like to put these up in the window. So this one says trick or treat with a little witch hat and a pumpkin. Then they had these really cool googly eyes. I thought these were really fun because you could make pretty much anything in your house a little monster. You could put this on a picture. You could put this on the bottom of your TV, on your furniture, or on your... I don't know. I just thought they were really cool and multi-use. Now that I'm looking back, I think I got three because I figured I could do two eyes and then a one eye thing. But I wish I got more because these are really neat. I bet you can get them cheaper somewhere too. But these are cool, fun way to just make things a little bit more interesting and good for kids too. Oh, I actually forgot this bar towel, also $5.00. Just the classic orange Happy Halloween with a jack-o'-lantern and then an orange jack-o'-lantern one in the back. I don't think $5 is a bad price for two kitchen towels and I definitely use them for multiple years. So some more of these window decals. This is Boo with the little skeleton and the spiders and, and leaves. The kids really enjoy those and I think these are just a dollar in the dollar spot. Yes, $1. So why not? They do get really gross if you take them off and put them on the floor, but I'll let Riley and Holden put these up high in the window so the baby doesn't grab them and turn them into disgusting, gooey yuckiness. That's what we got today at Target and that's our Halloween haul. We got a lot of stuff, a lot of little things, but I think that when you look at a space, it's those little details that really pull everything together. Um, and I love the big giant pumpkin head that Sergio picked, even though I'm not sure that I really want to store this thing, but where there's a will, there's a way. Thank you all so much for joining me. I really appreciate you watching. If you want more Halloween content, we have a lot of really cool decorating videos. You know that spider web thing I talked about? You do not want to miss it. Like and subscribe, or ring the bell for notifications, and I hope I'll see you next time here on It Came From A Vlog. Bye-bye!